Day three of Oshkosh here in AFWorks booth with all the other uh, high technology uh, individuals. With me right now, I have uh, Eric Barsh from Vertigo Arrow. And uh, what, uh, what we're looking at here behind us is the latest product from Vertigo. So it's not an electric aviation for the advanced air mobility. What is it, Eric? All right, what you're seeing back here is probably the first time anyone's seen one of our hybrid electric power plants out in the public eye uh, ever. And so this is a hybrid propulsion system that marries together the best of conventional propulsion with the best of electrification. So what we're doing here is enabling electric aircraft that fundamentally have to be electric, whether it's drones or manned aircraft, there are certain configurations where it must be electric, it must use electric motors, but then we need a mission profile that is way beyond what a battery can do. That's where Vertigo's hybrid power plants like the VH3 here come in because they enable us to pair liquid fuels like jet fuel or sustainable aviation fuel, use the great things about the high energy density, the power consistency, all of that of a liquid fuel, but use that to drive these new electric aircraft that are capable of new missions and capable of doing amazing new things. In looking at this, what kind of weight are we talking about? And do you see uh, power plants being bigger or smaller or both? So the VH3 system right here is about a 650 pound power plant. That includes everything, engine, generator, power electronics, cooling systems, the control systems, you name it. And we have three active programs. This is actually the smallest of our three programs. This is 185 kilowatts of continuous power, which is, let's say, approximately 250, 260 horsepower in electricity. And then we've got a system that is about two and a half times this size that's under development. We also have a system that's up in the multi-megawatt level that we're doing some very early stage development on. Uh, in conjunction with some of the military agencies, and they're very excited about the ultra-high performance electrified aircraft that that can enable. So in this um, new advanced air mobility, urban air mobility, EV tall, E tall, EC tall, are you partnering with anybody in that space at this moment? We're partnering with people in just about all of those spaces at this point, and I can't talk a lot about which customers we're working with behind the scenes, but the nice thing about this is you can kind of think about the VH3 and our other power plants. They're kind of like Legos. You know, we design a very flexible power plant that allows the aircraft designer to use that power however they want to. And so this power plant, the VH3, a lot of the applications, it's used purely as a generator. You, you put liquid fuel in, you get electricity out. However, this has a flexible design to the front end here where we can get shaft power out of it. So if there's a main rotor or a main propeller and there's a benefit to driving that directly mechanically, this system can put out mechanical shaft power, it can put out electrical power, it can put out combinations of those. We could even, for example, on a short takeoff and landing aircraft, put a propeller on the front end of this thing and run the generator backwards as a motor and for a rapid takeoff, we can pull power out of a battery pack, put it in, run the generator as a motor, and put that power and the engine's power down the shaft to get twice as much power. So highly versatile and can fit just about any model of aircraft for any purpose. Absolutely, and that's really our goal as a propulsion company is to make sure that we're designing flexible power systems that can be applied in a lot of different ways because there's really not a lot of convergence in the design of electric aircraft yet. So there are a lot of different designs that are out there. And it's an exciting time to see all of that innovation in aerospace. And we want to make sure that we're relevant and we're enabling a lot of those and not just pigeonholed for one of those markets. Well, Eric, I greatly appreciate your time. I'm really excited to see you bring this product here this year and you. wish you the best of luck. This is a demonstrator of our new AVHSI accessory for the AV30. The AVHSI adds precision vertical and lateral guidance, allowing the AV30 to be used to fly instrument approaches, both ILS and 
GPS approaches down to LPV minimums. The AVHSI is compatible with all the leading GPS on the market. This is an Avidyne IFD 540 uh, that'll work with all the Garmin series as well.